So today I wanted to talk about Ash's future opponents now that he's entered into Hyper Class. At the end of episode 65, we saw the silhouettes of a few characters who will appear soon, and I wanted to discuss who those characters are and who some of them could be, since all of them aren't clear. So first I want to talk about the two obvious ones, then I'll talk about the other three who are kind of hard to make out. And the first character that we can see clearly is B, who's on the far right, who we can assume is going to return to have a rematch with Ash in Hyperclass, like they promised to do at the end of episode 39. And since the battle last time ended in a tie, I think this time Ash will definitely win, unless B becomes the new Alon and beats him every time. Another small prediction I'll make is that this battle will happen in Galar this time, maybe even at her gym, which could be cool if Ash ends up actually earning one of the Galar gym badges. But if it doesn't happen in Galar, I can definitely see it happening in Hoenn since they've already battled in Kanto and Johto and Hoenn would be next, especially since B likes to challenge other fighting type experts and Hoenn has Brawly, the fighting type gym leader. This is also why it could happen in Sinnoh, since Sinnoh has Maylin, and the fact that Sinnoh remakes are coming out soon, so this could all line up. I'd also be interested in learning about her dad in Galar Karate, so maybe they'll talk about that in her upcoming episode as well. I guess we'll have to wait and see. The next obvious character I want to talk about is Volkner on the far left. The hairstyle and the luxury make it pretty clear that it's him. And Volkner has always been someone who likes to battle in every iteration of his character, whether it be the manga, games, and the anime. And in the anime, he was so tired of weak opponents that he just ended up giving out gym badges until he saw Ash's battle with Flint, which inspired him to battle again. So I can definitely see him as someone who'd enter the world championships looking for a tough battle. And hopefully we see a rematch between Ash's Infernape and Luxray, or maybe Pikachu and Electivire. The last three characters we see the silhouettes for aren't very clear and I don't have any solid predictions on them, although I've seen a ton of predictions, so I'll talk about those and let you know which one I think is most likely. So starting from the girl on the far left, next to B, when I first saw her I thought it was Sabrina, the sixth gym leader of Kanto. I've also seen people say Lily because it looks like there's a Vulpix next to her, and there's also some promotional art with Vulpix that came out recently, but I still don't believe that for a few reasons. One, because I think if anyone from Alola would join the world championships it would be Kiawe, Gladian, or Kukui and definitely not Lily between the two because she's already on a journey to find her dad with Gladian. So I don't really see Lily participating in the world championships. I've also seen people say Nessa from Galar who I think is possible if he changed her hairstyle a bit and I've also seen people say Lucy from the Battle Frontier which I think is a definite no the hairstyle is just too different and I've also seen people say Dawn because we got it right after Iris's return. But that has to be the biggest no for me since Dawn is already a coordinator. I know we saw her compete in the World Tournament Junior Cup in black and white, but this is just way too different. So if I had to pick between any of those picks, I'd go with Sabrina or Nessa. And between the two, I'd definitely say Sabrina based on her design. And Sabrina's return would also give us the chance to see her actually have a battle with Ash since Ash didn't really earn her badge and maybe even see his old Haunter again. Although I do think Nessa being a Galar gym leader does give her a more realistic chance. Now for the last two character silhouettes we see, these are probably the hardest two to make out. In the middle I thought that might have been Bruno, which could tie in the B since he's a fighting expert too. Not to mention Lance is in the world championships as well. But he doesn't look as big as Bruno in size and the hairstyle kind of throws that off too. I've seen some people say LT Surge as well, which makes sense since he was away from the gym the last time Ash went there. But the thing about that is I don't think they'd have Ash rematch another electric type gym leader within the same time frame since we already know he's going to battle Volkner or at least see him again. I think that would just be weird unless there's like an electric themed event going on and if there was I think Clement would be a much better option than LT Surge. So if I had to pick for the person in the middle I would say Bruno unless it's a new character although I doubt it. Unless the point was to get us to start talking about who it could possibly be and then introduce a new character which I guess would be a smart marketing move. So for the last silhouetted character, I've seen people say three people, Tyson, the guy Ash faced in the Hoenn League with the OP Meowth, Kabul, the fire type gym leader of Galar, and Drake from the Orange Islands. And I think Drake is the most interesting, so I want to talk about him first. Drake is the Orange Crew Supreme Gym Leader, aka the champion of the Orange Islands. And the last time we saw him, Ash faced him and won and became champion of the Orange League. So him coming back would be interesting, especially to people who skipped the Orange Islands, and also because he's somewhat the champion of his own region, or at least the Orange Islands. 
Aside from that, I don't really see the point in him returning. Ash was able to beat him before he even set foot in Johto and Johto Ash was still learning and isn't even half as good as the current Ash. So I wouldn't be too worried about Ash losing to him. One thing that would be interesting is his Dragonite versus Ashes since Drake's Dragonite was undefeated before facing Ash and in the battle with Drake, Drake was able to beat three of Ash's Pokemon with Dragonite. So I guess a battle between the two Dragonites would be pretty interesting, especially since Ash's Dragonite is currently undefeated. Unless you count Iris's Dragonite shutting it down. So the next person I want to talk about is Kabu. Kabu was a highly likely option since he is Galar's gym leader and this is the 8th gen anime. Plus we've already seen B and Raihan who are participating in the world championships. Not to mention we saw Opal in one episode too so this would be a great way to show off another Galar gym leader. Plus in Kabu's league card in the game it talks about how he's tried to become champion before so maybe we can learn more about him in the anime. Now the last person I want to talk about is Tyson who Ash faced in the Hoenn League Top 8 and Tyson had a pretty solid team with an OP Meowth and I'd really like to see a rematch between the two with Pikachu winning this time since Pikachu has beat 3 legendaries since then and Ash beating him will mean we will have seen Ash beat a regional champion in Iris and a Pokemon League conference winner. Either way I think his return would be interesting and a great battle for Ash. So that's pretty much everything in regards to the silhouettes. If any of them are officially revealed I'll make a follow up video about them. But if it's B or Volkner I probably won't since we already know about those two. But since the other three are worth discussing I think I'll definitely talk about them. But with that being said let me know who you think the other three trainers are. For right now, I'll go with Sabrina, Bruno, and Kabu as the last and safe pick, but I wouldn't mind it being Tyson either. With that being said, let me know what you thought of my picks, and if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and bye.